Here we're going to palpate the pubic bone. Now, I have to say before I show you a pubic, pubic bone palpation, um, just want to let you know this is not really an area that I go to very often. I really only go here if I'm doing some type of, of visceral work in this territory or if I'm dealing with low back pain. And most of the time that I may go here, it's because of some type of low back pain issue um, or some type of uh, groin issue. So this is not a place I go to very often, but I feel that this is a place that um, it's kind of one of the boxes that I, that I check off if I'm uh, working with a client that's got low back pain and I'm not able to uh, bring about a, a satisfactory resolution by working SI joint or working lumbar spine. Um, pubic bone is kind of the, the last box that I, that I tick off. One of the reasons I work pubic bone is that it may help, let's say for example, I'm, I'm already working in pubic bone like this, that it may help my work in uh, SI joint. I may be working the pubic bone in conjunction with work in the SI joint or in other parts of the ilium. So it's uh, most often not just pure work here on pubic bone. It's done in conjunction with working other parts of the pelvis. That being said, to palpate pubic bone, the way I do it is I actually don't even use my fingers. Sorry, Mr. Otto, I'm using my fingers uh, uh, to, to do it on you. But I use the heel of my palm, and I imagine the pubic bone uh, being on either side of the heel of my palm right here. Okay, so what I do is I start off by having my hand on the client's abdomen. Now, before I do this, I check in with my client. I let them know. I even use Mr. Otto as a model to let them know exactly where I'd be working. Um, so I may roll uh, uh, Mr. Otto over, show them exactly where I'd be working and how I'll be working. And I let my client know that if at any point, even if they've agreed to the work, if at any point they're on the table and they're not comfortable with the work, they don't want it anymore, then that's perfectly all right. They can always stop or let me know, you know, however they want to let me know, and we can stop the work in the area. I think it's very important to let your client know this so that they feel comfortable in getting work in such an intimate area, basically. So what I do is start by palpating abdomen and then I move, I essentially go this way and I move towards the pubic bone like this. So I'm palpating it with the heel of my palm. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure here and hopefully you'll be able to see the white marks that it leaves on the heel of my palm right there. They were there for a little bit, let's do it again. So they were right here. And here is where I feel for any type of shearing, any type of, of uh, lateral shifting in the pubic bone. And I may even ask the client, do you feel this if I put a little pressure this way? Do you feel this if I put a little pressure the other way? So that they are aware of, of where I am, um, the fact that I'm on bone, and they are um, getting a little bit more awareness of their pubic bone. So that's it. Pretty basic, uh, simple palpation of the pubic bone. Hey folks, thanks for watching the Morales Method YouTube channel. If you want more information on relieving low back pain, please click on the link above for our online course. And if you want more recommended videos, then please click on the links below. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.